Well, ladies and gentlemen, current time is 5.04 p.m. And you, I think you might know where I am headed. I'm headed to the post office once again, shipping flat rate boxes, all that fun stuff. Let me show you a little something something here. Now again, I have run out of packaging tape, so I'm using duct tape. If you use duct tape, just know this, if you're sending in line, I've actually had postal operators uh, deny my package because there is duct tape on it, because the duct tape sometimes due to weather comes off the boxes and that's why it doesn't stick that well. So just know that if you are standing in line with packages, with duct tape, you might get denied shipment. And so that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, so, but because I use it and I've already printed out my label and I don't have to stand in line waiting for to talk to the woman or man for the label, I just slip it right over there. They don't really say anything, they take it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And if they're really cool, if the duct tape is coming off, they'll actually repackage it with their own tape, especially priority. Anyway, gonna head down there now. I should probably figure out this whole pickup appointment type of uh, pickup package because with priority, you can actually schedule a pickup. I definitely need to learn about that because, of course, as you can tell, I've been going to the post office many, many times. I'm not really sure, I've never tried it. I should try it out once to at least see if it's worthwhile, and it would save me at least a half an hour. But I'm gonna try to stop by and try to find an electronics drop-off because my trunk is full with Goodwill drop-offs. Obviously, Goodwill's gone, but I think I'm gonna try to find my other drop-box. So, Let's roll. So in yesterday's vlog, we actually flew the drone above this college right here across the street from me. So it went up all the way up there, was able to look down. It's amazing what the world looks like from up above. You kind of think of this small little town, you know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of put it something into perspective. So check this out. My cousin and some friends used to rent a house in the Hollywood Hills. This was when online poker playing was really, really popular. And they used to rent a house up in the Hollywood Hills. And when you're in Hollywood, when you're in LA, you feel like a small little ant in a big fishbowl. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, their house was up on the hill. Beautiful view. I mean, gorgeous view. I would never live there, never even consider staying there. <laughs> but the view was beautiful. I'm not a big fan of LA. I'm not a big fan of Hollywood, but I was a fan of the view. Anyway, when you get up on the hill and you look down over the city of Hollywood and Los Angeles, it becomes a lot smaller. You feel like the world isn't such a large place. Especially, you know, when you're up there with a drone looking down, same exact thing transpires. But when you're in the midst of the hills and the valley, everything tends to look a lot bigger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you get up, up above, sometimes small problems, small houses, you know what I'm saying? You guys want to know what I'm saying. Especially in the airplane, the world looks different. And then you go up in a space shuttle, even different than that, you know what I'm saying? So it's just interest of perspectives when you remove yourself from ground level. was prepared tonight, gave myself extra time for this traffic. Police chase. Whoa, what's that happening? Man, that was like the sixth one I've seen. Now they're actually heading up the hill where I live. So hopefully nothing has transpired up where I live. Now, most likely what they do in that circumstance, there is a toll road out that direction and they could potentially be trying to cut off and spike strip somebody on the toll road going from one portion of the county to the other. But that was that was actual the city police department. Those weren't sheriffs. So I don't know. I do not know. We'll find out in about 15 minutes when we turn around. Hopefully everyone's all right. Yeah, guys dancing, flipping that sign, just making that cheddar. Yeah, baby. Well, folks, it looks like the police have come up this direction here. We're gonna go ahead and not pass by, but we're gonna make a right here as the police are right here. They got some flares out. Doesn't look like an accident. Might be a police chase coming to an end. I'm not exactly sure. We need to get back home and get the drone up in the air and see what's going on. Yep, yeah, another one showed up. He's blocking off that intersection so you can't turn this way. They've actually blocked off the canyon route. Something big happened for sure. There's no paramedics, no nothing, so that's definitely a police chase coming to an end. Unfortunately, I don't think my $100 drone has a range limit where I could get out that direction. Even my new one with the 5.8 gigahertz controller, that has a longer range, but 
you need a DJI Mavic to be able to test the footage on that and see what's going on. We might be able to raise it up high enough so we can get a bird's eye view, but I'm not gonna be able to go more than a couple football fields with that type of a dollar amount drone. You need to get into the big leagues with the DJI to get up there nice and, nice and tall and go nice and long. Well, my friends, current time is around a little after 10.30 p.m. or so, and it's kind of a little bit, <laughs> it's a little hard to, well, differentiate between the different times because Mama and Papai, which are Natalie's parents, they are staying here for again for quite a while, over two months, a little over two months, about two months, one week or so, something like that. Anywho, so they, anyway, they went to bed last night around midnight, but tonight around nine, so it's like kind of hard to, you know, I sleep in, so I'm gonna have to alter my bedtime, obviously, if I wanna get work done because I need to be loud. And when they're out, I need to film as much as possible when they are out and about doing my uh, product reviews, etc. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna get a couple hours worth of eBay auctions in, and then I'm thinking about, I need to stretch the legs a little bit, I haven't even been out to the gym or anything today, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing some eBay auctions, doing some push-ups in between listing, and then I'm going to be going out and going to at least one complex, maybe two complexes tonight, just to stretch my legs a little bit, come back, edit the video real quick, and hit the sack, and we got a big day tomorrow, so it's gonna be good stuff. Anyway, let's head on back upstairs, let's get a little bit of nutrition in the books, let's get some push-ups in the books, and let's get some eBay auctions in the books. Well, my friends, though some may think I'm crazy, I think I'm a little crazy myself. 48 degrees outside, and it's very, very cold for us locals here, where we just were, what, 95 degrees? With a low of maybe 75? So it's dipping down to 48. I'm in a hoodie and shorts, though. I'm not giving up my shorts yet. But remember that Levi's haul we had? That was a solid haul, and we are looking great. We tried them on. Yeah, they're a size too big, but with a belt, they look real nice, and they're 513s and 511s, so they're more slimline, unless the guy trimmed them up as well, but anyway, I like 513s and 511s. They fit great, so I'm gonna keep all of them, and then I got one pair I'm gonna give to my brother for Christmas, some 513s, and so we're looking great on that. Anyway, you're like, Chris, where are you going? Like, well, why are you saying you're crazy? I'm crazy because I should be in bed right now, but I thought to myself, you know what? We need to go diving. We need to go to at least one complex. Let's head on down the street here and roll around and hopefully <laughs> we see at least something. All right, let's go. Well, I'll tell you what, luckily my mother and father-in-law know that I dumpster dive. And so <laughs> if they do hear me sneak out of the house late at night, like I just did a little while ago, they won't think anything's up. You know what I'm saying? And they always like to sleep with the door open. I try to shut it. My wife's like, no, no, they need fresh air. I'm like, well, hopefully I don't wake them up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, they know what I'm up to. And trust me, we're going to get them on camera dumpster diving with me. I'll tell you what. Papai loves it. Papai found a uh, TV with me. Papai, he has his eye out for an HP laptop computer. So hopefully, God willing, we'll find him an HP laptop computer this trip. Well, it doesn't look like anyone wants that vase and box spring. That's been there for a hot minute. You collectors know exactly what that was. And before I scream my head off, Let's go ahead and finish this complex and then I'll explain exactly what we just saw. This might be the literally the find of the century. We'll see. Well, there's a microwave right here if you want it. Hey, how about that little computer desk, huh? Solid wood. I think it's upside down because the drawers are back over there. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. There's also a to-go container over there, probably feeding the raccoons. Let's go in for a closer look. Real quickly before I get into the story about what that find was. All right, so right after we see the wooden desk, I go in for a closer look 
and I don't know what happens. I've always wondered if this would happen. Now, this is kind of nasty, and I'm definitely gonna have to disinfect my camera. I already use a ton of hand sanitizer on my hands. If you guys do not have hand sanitizer, spray 91% alcohol in the car, bring it. It doesn't matter if you have gloves, because you always touch something or other in between or whatever. Anyway, it's just nasty. Anyway, so, the can wasn't too dirty, but my camera somehow falls out of my hand, knocks up against the fence, not inside the dumpster, but actually in the little center ledge there, and then goes underneath it. I'm like, oh no. The car's running, it's idling, nobody's up, no windows are up or anything like that, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, and it's behind the half wall. I'm like, for a split second, I was actually thinking about just leaving the camera and then I was like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Just because the camera fell underneath the dumpster, you're not gonna get it, but for a split second you just freak out and you're like, oh my gosh, like, it's under there. Now I gotta crawl over the half wall and then I gotta crawl underneath and find the camera underneath the dumpster. And I was like, oh, we just gotta do it. Jumped over the half wall, found it within the first five seconds. Definitely 91% alcohol with a cotton pad all over this camera, plus my hands, plus I'm gonna wash this sweatshirt because some of it rubbed up against the dumpster. Don't tell my wife. Like I said, it wasn't a crazy nasty dumpster, but it wasn't the cleanest one either. So, anywho guys, let's get back to the story. What are you joking me right now? That was a bag, and I'm not talking about a small bag. I'm talking about the largest bag I've ever seen of, yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Before I tell you what it was, list in the comments below, pause the video, list in the comments below what you think was in that bag, okay? I'll give you a, a couple seconds and then we'll come back up. Okay, so we're back up now and if you haven't already, pause it and then go back. Anyway, that was the biggest bag of, yes, that's correct, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. You gotta be joking me right now. I just dropped off my guy, remember up at LAX, and they had a Hot Wheels convention up there. Oh, if I would have found this find a month ago, I could have brought the whole bag up there and I could have had, you know, get a couple people's different opinions. Oh, so anyway, the bag was lying exactly how I filmed it, right? I almost didn't even get out of the car. And then when I saw the bag, I almost didn't even get my foot on the half wall to look in. I saw a bag, I didn't see what was in the bag until I put my foot on the half wall, looked inside it, and bam, Hot Wheels, I was like, are those toy, are those Hot Wheels? And guys, as I was trying to get it out, my I was supermanning it in the dumpster, supermanning it. Oh my goodness gracious, as I was bringing the bag out, I actually had about probably six or seven fall out of the bag. Hopefully the six or seven that fell out of the bag weren't the rarest ones that I'm losing out on thousands of dollars. Ugh. I might bring my actual picker back tomorrow night and see if I can see any still and then I'll pick them out of there. But I double checked and they're Hot Wheels, guys. They're Hot Wheels. Ah, oh, I'm gonna save this full spread for Trash and Treasure. That's gonna be a whole episode on its own. Oh my goodness gracious. This is it, this is it. Daddy's moving up, big leagues, baby. Absolutely excited. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to cut my day and baby, live your dream. See you guys tomorrow, it's gonna be awesome. Later. Ah! if I should hire a bodyguard to like protect me as I'm getting out of my car right now going upstairs hmm should I call Justin Bieber's bodyguard Bieber 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 well that was worth getting out of the cold car for